Hey everyone, welcome back. Deft here, so we're going to get right back to it and continue questing on the other side of the map over where we just got the alchemist mortar and finish that quest up. We started finding a little bit of copper in the area. So far, that's only been in lootable objects, not any actual mining spots so far. I will find that here soon, I'm sure. From there, like I said, we're going to go head back over here, teleport to home level one, probably just glide over here into the shroud and make our way over here to a test of skill. And we can look into the table saw for the carpenter. I really want to come back down here and start knocking out these other lower level quests too, before we get too far up into this area, since we're starting to run into 11, level 11s and 15s. So let's see if we can get that done. We do have our new sword and shield. If you didn't catch the last episode, I know it was a little bit long. But at the same time, we did find this XP scroll. So I wanted to go ahead and direct use this and see if it actually gives us experience points so let's do use item see what happens don't see any stat changes anywhere so i'm not sure maybe that boosts us when we kill things and get experience i'm not positive on how that works probably should have just looked at our experience first to see uh, if anybody hadn't known and hadn't been keeping up so we are wearing our new archer trousers that we found in a chest we're wearing our pike meads bulwark shield that we got we did upgrade the grappling hook to the improved version which helps a lot with stamina i did want to go ahead and put some new skill points in because our new sword uses crushing damage so i guess we're going to need to max out all of these but i did want to go ahead and put our five skill points into swift blades so we can attack faster with one-handed swords and axes so let's unlock that one and then our next skill points it depends on how many we have might go into constitution We're really hoping we find some more elixir wells so we we can cut down some more trees and get some more free points. Let's go ahead and repair our gear and head across the map. Then we just found an Azur Ruzula seedling at seedbed. So it's a blue mushroom. It's inside the shroud here, right next to where we just do the Alchemist Tower. You can see, so there's one right here next to this guy too. So our sword works in this room. Yeah, so our damage is much better now. <laughs> uh, we max upgraded this thing, so it does a lot of damage. Let me see, so we need to keep moving right past here, past the Flame Shrine and the Lone Thistle that we found earlier. All right, so we're still on the way over here to a test of skill. There's an Elixir Well here, so we need to clear this so we can get some skill points. I'm not sure how strong this one's going to be because all the mobs here are level 11 so far. Oh my god, this guy hits hard. What level are you? 11? Definitely not an easy area to be in. Really need to find some better armor. So let's go up here. There's a respawn point in case we die. Now I can only imagine how strong this well is going to be. Oh wait, can we not get out here to get to that spot? Like this mountain right here's really, range is really killing me. Looks like we have a note right here next to this well too. So let's grab that once we defeat this enemy. A message or a nightmare new lore the shroud elixir and elixir well mysterious wanderer sightings next to that we have a chest with a fireball and prayer of the flames well right, well i didn't see a way out to get above this cliff so let's go ahead and drop into this well we'll see if we can clear it we might not be high enough level just yet might need to get some better gear first i feel like this our sword and shield's good but our armor we just <laughs> we're getting wrecked let's see do i see the tree anywhere it's probably gonna be a pretty deep mine how do we get back up and out? The ladder here. Yeah, grapple point there. Let's see how this is going to work. And then we have to climb. Okay, so it's definitely going to take a minute. Oh, wait. One of those shielded armored warriors. This one's level 11 though. Probably got to break the block. He's down. He's worth 121 experience points. Let's get this archer. Let's get the tree over there. So we're still clearing mobs. Probably got to go back out, rest up, and then come back in. And we might have to start carrying a second sword with us. Our sword's at like 50% durability already.
level 11 mage in front of us. chest right here on the right side. Let's grab it. Forest longbow. Bunch of beetles. And did, let me see. Did y'all drop me another sword I can use? Yeah, we can use this rusted sword for now and save our good one for any main fighting. Should be enough for the beetles. Oh, these are level 9. And looks like we're going to head out of here in a second. I was wanting to look and see if there's a boss first or if we can just go cut the tree down. Oh, and beetles everywhere. Definitely a ton of enemies down here. <laughs> like a whole field of enemies in front of us. So. Yeah, there's about 12 enemies right here. I guess we can try to thin some of them out. So we do have some bombs. I wonder if those would work really well against this large of a group. Alright, come here guys. I, I need to get out of here. Go away. minute and a half let's go ahead and try to make it back to the top and then we'll stand right here grab some time back and then we'll go back to the bottom knock them out and get that point they should should be pretty easy back down here at the bottom let's go ahead and engage all these enemies oh whoa whoa, whoa. just push me into a hole let's see so we get a bomb out I think we wiped out most of them. Let's get this archer down. Oh, we still have some up here. I need to heal, so let's go ahead and just uh, pop a bandage. I think they're cleared. Let's get this guy chopped down. Oop, I hit the wrong button. I just ate one of those mushrooms. <laughs> and I gave myself food poison. That's always good. A rat new skill point and a new location charted. I'm going to loot up these bodies and take a look around see if there's any special treasure down here because the path does go farther in. We do have a chest back here behind a beetle net. Nothing too special in it, some magic. But down here in the back side of the cave, we do have a lot more enemies. There's two strong flowers here on either side, so let's go ahead and try to snipe them out. That one's down. He's already hit him one time with my sword. All right, let's just try to kill him. <laughs> we can't keep taking damage like this. Loot them for their shroud sacks. And right here next to them, up oh, there's another one right here in the back. We do have what looks like a legendary chest. Let's grab it. Undergrowth staff, 26 power. It's pretty strong. What is still hitting me? Oh, we got an archer. And 
And these guys are dropping us copper arrows now. And we have a ledge right here we can climb up to, so we need to do that. There's some stronger enemies up here, so I was trying to get some hit points back. And then once we get out of here, we're gonna have to head back and repair our equipment. Okay, yep, there's one of those guys that floats. And they just keep coming. <laughs> we need to get away from that beetle nest because it's just going to keep spawning them on us. Oh, wait. I just dropped on the part. I'm going to have to run all the way back around. No, we should be able to glide over there. And if he hits us, we might die. Get up here and heal for a second. That's hard to fight when I can't see him. He's down. Let's go ahead and grab this. Get some stamina back, and then we're going to jump back across over there. And let's see if he was guard these guys are guarding anything. They're still the beetle nest, so they're going to spawn constantly. I think we're in the clear. I don't see anything else over here. I did see one thing I want to go look at, though. Come back down here for a second. And across the way, there's a small island, and it looks like something's glowing on it, but I can't really see if there's anything out there. Much less do I know how to get there, <laughs> if we wanted to. Now walking here without being killed. I, I can jump up there, but I'm scared I'm going to jump too far and go over the edge. But yeah, there's definitely a big island. If anybody knows about that, let me know. I'm not going to try to get over there because of that red shroud. Maybe once we get higher level, we can walk across the red shroud. I don't know yet. And we made our way back to home, repaired everything, dropped everything off, teleported back here. Then we ran around here again to the Hill of Scavengers and came through this valley so that we can actually get to these points because I couldn't find a way up right here inside the shroud where we just cleared the elixir well. So let's go ahead and see if we can get up to the Flame Sanctum and then make our way over to the Story of Rot and so caravan and maybe this other flame sanctum it will set our waypoint it's probably above us might have to figure out how to get up the mountain see it looks like there's a path right here that goes up let's try to take it looks like we have a little camp right here the new car or whatever they're called i thought just call them big ewoks but <laughs> it's gonna knock them out and always start with the mage so he's level seven they're down we can grab the blessing from this it's like my meshes are doing that weird thing again see what kind of loot we have laying around bunch of hides and bone meal so far watch out for their little traps <laughs> And let's go inside this. It should be the same thing. So they would use this for their camp. So we'll break everything down in here and loot it up. First, let's go up here and grab this. Another spark. From here, let's keep circling around this mountain and make our way over to these quests. Looks like we have a respawn point and some points of interest below us. And we should be close to that one quest now. We have a little camp right here. Let's find out what's inside of this. A little bit of a shroud area. Some loot in here and then some lore. Let's see what we find. Obelisk writing. New location charted. Two markers added. New quest. Obelisk research.
Okay, and then here, right here, we have the obelisk itself. So let's take, check it out. Again, all the meshes are kind of looking rough. <laughs> a new location added. Let's go ahead and read this. The flame touched face achievement. Read all obelisk in the Springlands. New quest, the story of rot. More locations. See our next quest that we have. It says reach the Revelwood. Looks like our quests are starting to creep down towards the bottom here. Let's see, let's go ahead and mark the southern caravan and see if we can't get to that in the flame sanctum. So we need to get across this bridge right here. Let's see if we can't make the jump. We have a chest right in front of us. Kill channel. And we're starting to get level 2 spells all around here in the chest too, so it's worth looting. Let me see. There's a grapple point above us. We're at hill lock. Location added. 150 experience points. Looks like we're about to level again. So that should be where we're at on the map. And we'll keep pushing forward. Looks like the quest actually should be in here somewhere. So we'll have to search this place. See what kind of lore and things we can find. Looks like they're a scavenger camp. Level 11. Let's see a chest with some bombs, a place to sleep in case it gets dark. Another chest right here, some loot on the shelf, water, a bunch of breakables, some cloth. So we do have five skill points, so let's go ahead and see if we can't get some of those placed down somewhere useful. So here we can get constitution. I do want that, so let's go ahead and grab it. And since our current weapon's using crushing and piercing, I believe, we'll need to get these at some point if we want to keep going the same route we've been going. So we have hammer time. So blunt damage increased by 20%. Go ahead and grab it since it's three points, and that'll be all the points we have for now. That should increase our weapon damage. And let's check out this side over here. On the ground. And let's look in the tents, and then we'll go into the ground itself. Another chest inside of here. More explosives. <laughs> Those did come handy. What is that? That looks different. Might hit that with a pickaxe and see if it is anything. Somebody's shooting at me from somewhere. So these are level nine. Flint arrows. Uh, another chest right here and a silver chest too. Tons of loot right here. Of course, longbow inside of that one. I'm not really sure where the guy shooting at is at. He must be above us or underground. Let me see, what do we have in here? I do like the fact our sword glows and our shield glows. <laughs> Makes seeing in the dark a lot easier. Now I don't have to pull a torch out every time. We have a rat. It doesn't look like there's anything exciting down here. Let's go ahead and start making our way to the top of this. Because I'm thinking there's going to be some lore or something up here since it, we're we were looking for the caravan. There's a lot of houses here. Oh yeah, I meant to hit that one spot on the mountain we saw because it looked different than anything I've seen before. Let's see, some hide furs and stuff inside of here. A little bit of lore. Sudden slaughter. New location charted when marker added. Then we have a legendary chest. Lock it for it. It's got a ring of mana in it. Okay, I wanted that one spot on the walls just where they just this road. Oh, while we're here, might as well hit it one time, see what happens. Just got some basic stone. Knock out this arbalist. Oh, there's more units coming our way. Oh. 
think we're up here at their main building now. Let's go ahead and circle around it one time. Still need to check down below us in these other tents, and there's one other building. That would have somebody shooting at us from here. Guys on top, protecting your chest. Then we have another path leading us down underground. Let's go ahead and mine our way into here. A good place to repair your equipment if you need to do so. Got another enemy in hiding. Yeah, chest and some loot. Down here in one of the tents, we have another chest. Let's go and grab that. Some more bombs. Let's run across here, look at these other tents and buildings. Just some basic loot so far. Maybe we have another basement. Let's jump in here with these rats. See, so far it's just look like standard loot. Nothing, uh, nothing special here. I'm just still trying to find my way up to that house that was above the little camp we just cleared. There is a respawn point next to here. So we made it up to this little house. Looks like we have some more of the bear Ewok looking guys. Wistful Fields. Location. This one's worth 100 experience as well. Let's see, looks like we can probably dig something up right here. Gonna take a quick look around. We'll probably call the video right here on this place once we finish it. He just gave us a Vaporous Staff. And we have a nice garden here with a bunch of tomatoes in it. Like a bunch of fiber that we can loot if we need to. Need to. I might make an altar here just so we can teleport back over here. The inside of here we've got some resin. Let's head upstairs, see if there's anything hidden up here. Well, it looks like there's a chest, but I'm not sure how we get up here. There we go. We have to do a little fancy jump. So 
some ice bolts. But I don't see any lore or anything up here. Let me look around a little bit more. Okay, we do have a mine right here behind this building, and that might be copper ore that we finally just found. Let's go ahead and drop inside of here. That's yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be copper. It's gonna be a little rough to get out of this one, I think. Looks like it's just a basic flint mine. We do have a pickaxe, so we should be able to get back out. Let's see, we'll climb in here nice and slow. It looks like a really deep mine. Yeah, looks like a pretty nice vein right here. Some loot down here too. Let's head back up and let's test that material on the wall really quick. I'm pretty sure that's going to be copper. Unless it just hadn't loaded in whatever mesh it is. Yeah, that looks like copper. Let's get our pickaxe out and hit it a few times. Yep, so we're getting copper ore now. This is a good location. If I can, let's go ahead and see if we can set up an altar. We'll grab some stone. Shouldn't need, but I think three pieces of stone. Flame altar. See, no slot available in the backpack, so we need to make some space. With this rubble, we can get rid of this rubble. Back to our personal crafting menu. And flame altar, gonna make one of those. And then we need to set it down. I don't want to put it too close to the ore because I don't want to mess it up. So we'll come over towards the road. And now we have a good teleport point. So if you're looking for that copper ore, it's over here at Wistful Fields. I'll zoom out for you. We do have the Southern Caravan quest pushing us this way. We have another flame sanctum we can grab really quick right here. And new location, Charted Pillars of Creation. That's it inside this flame sanctum. We'll grab us some sparks. And the video's getting long again, so I think we're going to call it right here. I guess Pillars of Creation is the name of this area. Until we find sand, though, we I don't think we can progress any farther with the copper, because I still haven't seen a recipe for that. So I'm assuming we need to get the crucible and everything built for the blacksmith. So that makes me think we need to head over here and get the dyed and its building blocks, the carpentry camp, maybe. See if we can glance at the journal, see if there's a quest for the blacksmith. Uh, pretty much it just says, reach the capital, pike meets reach. Looks like that's where we're going to get that wyvern head. So I was trying to come over here. We found a rhubarb seedling at Seedbed, so it's a different kind of plant. This is Deadly Shroud, so we can't go inside of it. And we're over here by like the desert type looking area below the one spire we got in the low meadows. So we can't go through here yet. So if you watch when we walk, get close, it'll tell us Deadly Shroud and we need to pull back. The timer just runs really, really fast. <laughs> So I wouldn't try to risk running through that right now. And I was trying to mine some of this to see if it would give us sand just because it's a different looking mesh. But so far I've only gotten dirt. So hopefully our other quest on the other side when we come back for the next episode will lead us to sand. Since I think that's what we need to use our copper and advance farther. So we might can just teleport here, try to make a way around. If not, we'll just backtrack and then come up here, go ahead and knock out test of skill, table saw for the carpenter, and start trying to work, I guess, towards these quests since they're our next ones. And all that should be slowly but steadily pushing us towards reach the capital. So as always, guys, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.